Welcome everyone. I have two smaller or larger updates for you. I'm really nervous to share this as both of the updates also struck me without any prior indication it would happen. So first, the Astro Station is dead. Yes, it's dead. Long live Stella Vita. TubeTech decided to update the name of the device close to the release. I'm also quite surprised uh, about this move, but sure I cannot influence it. We are not talking about the Astro Station anymore, but about Stella Vita as the new name. This has been the smaller of the two updates that I would like to share. The second update is a bit bigger. No, I'm not going to resign from creating videos about TubeTech's Astro computer, so Stella Vita. No matter if it's called Astro Station or Stella Vita, I will just continue presenting news. Today I have re uh, received the pre-release version of the new app. It includes a feature that I really have to share with all of you, even though I'm totally unprepared. I will show you in a few seconds what I'm talking about. To share these news, I'm making a brief, quick and dirty video to get the, this message out to the world. Once again, thank you for dialing in. This is Martin and you're watching Astro from Home. So, now we are on Stella Vita. Those of you who frequently watch my videos directly see that we have a new icon bottom left side of the screen. Let's just click it. What happens? And here we are. The pre-release version of the SkyMac map from TubeTech. It looks pretty similar to all other Sky Maps. And when we move around the the current position uh, where you where you move the sky map is um, with the blue box, the position where the device thinks uh, your telescope is pointing is uh, displayed as an orange red square. The square um, is reflecting the field of view based on your camera and also the telescope that you have attached. And you can just move around with the finger. You can zoom out, zoom in with two fingers. You can uh, unselect the coordinate system. You can display it again. You can, can toggle the landscape on and off. If you zoom in from a certain point of zoom, um, the Sky Atlas is showing you a picture of the object where you are. And if you zoom out, um, it disappears again. So that's pretty neat um, to save some resources. And um, yeah, what can we do from here? We can go anywhere and then zoom in. For instance, select the North America Nebula. And, uh, by clicking it, um, this small gray box opens with the coordinates. You can say center simulation that brings the the blue box to to that position and from here you can then do go to and center the mount should slew yes i've connected my ioptron cm40 uh yeah and it's loose properly but as it the mount stands inside um, the plate solve will not work so we jump back to to the sky atlas and then once the go to is finished um, the sky atlas displays the screen box to you that you are 
on that position. As soon as you move, you have the blue and orange red boxes available again and you can also get the coordinates of any of the slightly bigger stars or the catalogued stars and um, yeah, you can can go anywhere here and um, move your your telescope so and um, the markers that we see here they are um, the markers for the catalogs Stella Vita no so NGC Messier IC and so on so not everything is in and um, SH2 it knows but here for the clamshell nebula there is no name so you could go here to 68 Cygni <laughs> to to um, locate it and then you do go to and center and it's loose again plate solve will will not work and then you're here and um, in order to to go uh, to work further um, you can just click on capture target and then the plan is opening as for for the clamshell there is no name it's just named target with the number clamshell and then you start uh, uh, select everything what you need go to your tasks um, set up here as well appropriately based on your demand and and then you would be ready to capture that that object um, uh, when you're on on the sky atlas and you choose something that is known by Stella Vita and you say capture target then it brings it over with the relevant catalog number and then you can just do the same as this one is still a pre-release version I said I haven't found the rotator yet if and also if it's included already or not but this is something that I will definitely check with my contact at TubeTech and yeah it's progressing getting closer to the final release I'm really happy about what I'm seeing here and yeah then there is not much left except saying thank you very much for watching if you like the content that I'm sharing please consider a like and maybe to subscribe to my channel this really helps me grow and if you would leave a comment this also would help me a lot so thank you very much for watching and clear skies to everyone thank you